If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and carefully read the question before moving on. This question is discussing the evaporation of water as a jogger is moving, and because it's evaporation, we have a change of phase. So we need to look at the energy required to change the phase of a certain substance. And so here is that equation, and in that equation we have Q, which is equal to the heat energy required to change the phase, M is the mass of the substance, and then L sub V is the latent heat of vaporization of the substance. Going back to the question, we are being asked to determine the amount of water that is evaporated. So in this equation, the amount of water, of course, would be the mass. So we're going to go ahead and solve this equation for mass by dividing both sides by L sub V. Now LV is again the latent heat of vaporization of the substance. The question gives that value to us in the standard unit of joules per kilogram. So that value is already taken care of. What we need to figure out is the Q, which is the amount of heat energy. Heat energy is measured in joules. But the question gives us this peculiar value of 400 kilocalories per hour. So let's take a closer look at that value. So here is that value. And again, our challenge is to convert this value into joules so that we can ultimately figure out the mass of water. We could begin to change this into joules by noting that one kilocalorie is equal to 1,000 calories. We could then note that one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules. And so far in our setup, we can see that the kilocalories would cancel as well as the calories. Now that leaves us with joules per hour. The question notes that this person is running for 30 minutes, which of course is half of an hour. So if we simply multiply this setup by half of an hour, we'll try to squeeze it in there, we would see that the hours would cancel and that would leave us with the unit of joules, which is what we're seeking. So let's work this all out on our calculators. And you should get approximately 8.37 times 10 to the fifth joules. So this is the amount of heat energy that's required to evaporate the water. We're going to plug that in for Q into our equation, as well as the latent heat of vaporization, which again is given to us as 2.5 times 10 to the sixth joules per kilogram. So we'll plug in. And then you can see from the setup that the joules are going to cancel, leaving us with just kilograms. When we compute this, we should get a mass of approximately 0.33 kilograms. So this would be the correct answer to the first question. There is a second question sort of buried in here and it asks what fraction of your need for water will be provided by fat metabolism? And then the question noted that the metabolism of one gram of fat generates approximately nine kilocalories of energy and produces approximately one gram of water. So what does this all mean? Well what it means is that we first have to figure out the mass of fat burned. Remember, the question noted that when one gram of fat is burned, that produces one gram of water. So in essence, if we find the mass of fat burned, we're also finding the mass of water produced. And to calculate the mass of fat burned, we're going to once again start with the 400 kilocalories per hour. And as before, because the runner is moving for 30 minutes, we're going to multiply this by a half of an hour. That way, the units of hours will cancel out. At this stage, we would be left with kilocalories, but remember, we want to try to figure out the mass. And to do that, we note that the question says that nine kilocalories of energy are produced when one gram of fat is burned. So in essence, if we divide our kilocalories by the quantity nine kilocalories per one gram of fat, then the kilocalories will cancel and that's going to leave us with grams of fat, which is exactly what we were trying to calculate. So we'll work this all out and we get roughly 22 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. We're now ready to answer the question. Again, one more time, what fraction of your need for water? Remember, our need for water was 0.33 kilograms in total. That was from the first part of the question. What fraction of that 0.33 kilograms will be provided by fat metabolism? In essence, we have to take the 22 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms of fat burned and divide it by our total need for water, which was 0.33 kilograms, and this will give us our fraction. And when you work that out, that comes to roughly 0.067, and if you want that as a percent, you can just multiply it by 100, and you get 6.7%.
So what this means is that burning fat provides 6.7% of the total water need of your body. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.